Welcome back. Let's take a look at what we're going to be learning about this week. In this module, we are moving all the way up into the end of the 19th century. We're going to be learning about snapshots, which is something we all take every day still, except now they're digital snapshots instead of analog or paper-based snapshots. Um, but we're going to learn about snapshots and how they really came to be through the company known as Kodak. I loved when I first started learning about Kodak. I thought it was so cool and it made so much sense to me. So I hope that you are interested in this module as I was when I first was introduced to these topics. We're also going to take a look at how still photography starts to transition into motion pictures. Now, when you hear that phrase motion picture, you may think of a big movie on a screen. Well, we're not quite there yet, but we're going to look at the intermediate steps and see how the inventions that you've been learning about these past few weeks really created the foundation for those pictures. And you'll even get to create your own motion picture by making with your own hands a, either a thaumatrope or a flip book. So I can't wait to see that. Now, with regards to the real world connections you're going to be making this week, you'll be looping back to the, um, the popularization of carte de visites that you investigated last week. Remember, you put together that very cool collection of carte de visites. So you're going to use that this week. You're going to revisit that collection, take a look at it through your review and reflect assignment, get critical about what you're seeing. And then what you're going to do is actually make a connection or make some connections, critical connections between those 19th century carte de visites that seem so far away and distant and social media, things like Instagram and TikTok. What's the similarity there? And if you maybe don't use Instagram or TikTok, that doesn't mean that you're not going to participate. It means that I want you to have conversations with people. Talk to your friends. Talk to people you know who are in this space if you aren't. And if you are in the space, look at the experiences in social media. So go into Instagram, go into TikTok and really think about some what you're seeing and try to make some critical connections to carte de visites and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Now moving into our historical processes and key figures, um, this timeline we've been adding to every week in our modules, right? So this is kind of where we left off last time with the collodion wet plate process. Um, we looked at the glass plate negatives and how they were used to make albumin prints, amber types and tin types, and this week we are building on to that um, by looking at things like the zoopraxiscope and chronophotography uh, 1880 inventions and then the Kodak Brownie. So you'll start, you'll learn about uh, George Eastman who was the founder of Kodak. You'll take a little bit of a glimpse into his life and how he got, how and why he started Kodak. Um, He's remembered as a very shrewd businessman. And then it was really the 1890 Kodak Brownie camera that really began to revolutionize photography and make it something that anyone could do, even women and children. <gasps> Gasp. So that's what we're going to look at this week. Um, I hope that sounds interesting to all of you. And when we get into our next module, we're going to start jumping into how photography really was being leveraged as an art form um, moving into the 20th century. And you'll be actually working on your own project about a 20th century photographer. So you'll get to pick a photographer. So start thinking about that this week too. And I will see you online.